Hi Libras. Uh, last video I did, I was getting that someone wasn't open to to magic, to psychics, to um, the occult, to anything of that sort, and they've opened themselves up. There, something's shifted with them. Um, I feel like they also weren't very emotionally open before. Like maybe they were kind of guarded, maybe ghosting you, maybe. Um, just a little bit like distant, like just not in touch with their emotions, not in touch with their intuition, kind of almost like their soul was being suppressed. And it feels like something has shifted and now they're finally open minded. They're noticing the synchronicities, especially regarding your connection. And yeah, let's see where we're at now. I'm going to start off with Bibliomancy just for a minute or two, and then I'm going to go on to the Oracle reading. Okay, first message, and this is from a book I just bought. This is how I have holden, this is how I hold on to you. As if I have fallen ship, water, negative 2.2 2, 2. 2 degrees Celsius, and you are the one and only piece of ice left to hold on to. The only possibility of preservation until dry land, so possibly a message for someone. So it's, it kind of feels like with this message, it feels like someone went through the dark night of the soul and they've just come out of it. Like they're, they hit rock bottom and they're building themselves back up to be what they want to be. And that person is someone who's emotional, who's passionate, who's open-minded. Um, and they have these, especially with the full moon, it's like they have all these psychic epiphanies and all this um, intuitive energy coming in all at once it's like they're just becoming their true selves it's like they were broken down and now, now the divine is building them back up one more message before we do the oracle reading if there are forces keeping you from me tell them that the battle may be theirs but the war is mine so whatever that means to you they may be aware of spirit like a spiritual war that's separating you guys and they may be willing to fight this you know like they may be in that energy where they're manifesting you back the love that i have for you is so overwhelming that even my words fail at accurately conveying it and yet every day still i try pages as a wishing well for my tears to fall blood is my ink hours and hours days weeks months and years all in the hopes that you may one day inquire of and require and requite my love for you. Yeah, it feels like someone fighting for you. That's the energy I'm getting here. Feels like someone... That's an interesting energy. I wonder what the cards are going to say about that. It feels like... It feels like a psychic battle. It feels like either... feels like either there's like these... Um, Like, energy is keeping you apart, and they're fighting those energies now. Like, maybe their third eye is open, and maybe there's, like, actual negative forces that have kept you guys apart. Like, um, like say, psychic vampire types or even lower forces, and they're, like, fighting those for you. Like, they're trying to... Maybe you have those things around you, and they're trying to get those... For some of you, maybe, maybe for some of you, you have those energies around you, and they're trying to get those off you and come to you. For others, it just feels like maybe I just get the energy of someone that's willing to fight for you. Like they're conscious that this is going to be a battle and they're going into battle and they're going into battle in like a psychic sense, like in the higher realms. They're going into battle for you. I hope that makes sense. Like someone's battling for you. Someone's willing to fight for you. Um, they're they're conscious of it being a fight. So I guess the so I guess there's two possible scenarios here. But, you know, take it how it resonates. So I guess, yeah, like I said, the first one could be like an actual, you know, psychic battle. that they, There's forces against you guys that they're trying to remove because they're aware of them now that their third eye is open. Like, again, the, you know, the ascension process, like going through like that awakening stage where you really start remembering your past lives, you start um, channeling. All that energy can be very intense. Like it can it, it can mark a before and after period of your life. Like you can go like you know, month of April and then the month of May, they're like a completely different person because they've, you know, 
gone through this and, and started having these experiences. Like for some people, it comes in very fast. Um, so, so yeah, I guess the other story could be also that just what they know that it's a battle in the sense that like, they know that they've lost you. Like they know that you're not as available to them now. So they're wanting to like maybe cleanse the cords between you two. Some of them might be doing that. Like they want to remove obstacles between you two. They want to reconcile. So it seems like someone's really focusing on this, especially in the higher realms, like on a telepathic psychic level. Let's see what this story is. So it seems like they've come further along in their path. I mean, when I channeled them a couple weeks ago, it's like, they were finally becoming open-minded, like they were noticing the synchronicities, but it feels like they've kind of like explored this more now. Like they're they're more advanced, like the awakening, like they've they've that whole process, like the awakening process. They've they've done a lot over the past couple of weeks, is what it's feeling like. So let's see what the cards have to say. And please keep in mind, guys, like this is just this is me channeling your energy and theirs. So like, I don't ask specific questions because sometimes people are like, oh, why aren't you like, you should be doing shadow work readings or you should be doing like this or that. You should be focused on the new love or the old love. Like I'm channeling your energy that I'm channeling whoever is like the dominant person that's connected to you right now. You know what I mean? So like, this is your story. I'm not asking specific questions. It's just, you know, it's like, this is just the energy. This is this is what I'm channeling that's going on. Like, if you don't like the story, then change the story. Cut this person out and manifest someone new, you know? But, like, this is this is all your energy. So I'm, I'm not the one to blame for that, you know? It's like this is the cards are just channeling the current energy, like your current energy and the current energy of, of someone around you. You know what I mean? But, it's, again, it's your story. So you have control if you don't want this anymore. You know, if, like, the collective doesn't want this anymore, like, the story could change, but it's up to you. You know what I mean? That's what I, that's, I just like explaining that because some people are like, oh, it's, like, set in stone or it's this. It's like, no, like, if all of you say screw this person and you guys all, like, go on dating sites and go meet new people, I can pretty much guarantee you in two weeks I'm going to get a story about new love. You know what I mean? Like, this is all your energy, so I hope you guys understand that. Um, dreams, visions, telepathy. And if this is your story and you want a paid private reading, just send me an email. My email is right below in the description box below this video. Uh, my donation links are also below. Any donations appreciated, even just a dollar, it really adds up. And um, please, re uh, please subscribe if it resonates too. Dreams, visions, telepathy, chaser, chasey, power, struggle, new love, fading encounter, divine intervention, synchronicity, hesitation, and mixed feelings. Reconciliation, okay. Anger, miscommunication. Huh. Waiting, hoping, praying. Mental instability, okay. All right. So, yeah, like, you know, just reiterating the dreams visions telepathy that they've really awakened like they're really in this psychic energy right now and it feels like they're pursuing you chaser chasey power struggle it really feels like really feels like they're like willing to go to war for you here and you either have a new love coming in that is a fated encounter destiny that the divine is bringing in like they're showing this person synchronicity and um, you're going to have to choose between these two people. And for others, this is the same person, but it's like renewed love. It's like they're almost like a new person now. Like they're not as they're not closed off. They're more open. Like they've grown spiritually in a very short period of time. Like they've really just leveled up. Um, it's like almost overnight. It's like your prayers for them have been heard. You know, if you were praying for them, if you were like praying for them to get on their, on their path, it's like they finally have. Uh, divine intervention synchronicity 
and you know through synchronicity wh whoever this is through synchronicity that their your spirit guides are leading you guys together like they're trying to make this union happen um there's some hesitation and fears but it seems like there is a reconciliation that's coming in or that they want to come in feels like there's still some miscommunication there based on mental instability and it's like or maybe there was in the past like miscommunication that came off like angry and there's like some mental instability evolved involved and so that's kind of why they've been like waiting and hoping and praying um and like hesitating but they are wanting this reconciliation because it seems like the connection is like very deep in like the higher realms like you guys are together in the 5d um, you guys are like channeling each other. It's like there's a strong psychic connection, but I just don't know if there's a whole lot going on in the physical world. Make your move, green light. True love, potential life partner, ex the past. Hmm. Publicity, social media. Nostalgia, longing. Third party. Yeah, there might actually be two people here, unless the ex is your true love. But I think for a lot of you, there might be someone new coming in. Or they have a karmic that they're dealing with that's trying to manipulate them, and they're trying to, like, work through that and get away from that for some of them. But it just feels like... You have a life partner, like a potential life partner coming in. It's like someone's making this move towards you. And it's either the ex is the life partner and they're watching you on social media and they're they're wanting to make a move towards you because they're aware now, like they're going back and they're like, wait, this person is my life partner. I shouldn't have let this person go. Now that they're more intuitive, they can like sense that connection. They're, they're giving into their emotions more. They're more submissive with their emotions. For others, and I feel like most of you will know which story is yours, but for others, I feel like you have a new love coming in that's a potential life partner that's making a move towards you and fighting for you. Someone's willing to fight for you. That, that's coming through strongly. Whether it's, it's, there's someone that's just willing to, they're seeing your worth and they're wanting to fight for you. Whether it's new love or old love or both. Um, like, again, I feel like there's two different stories here. So make your move green light, potential life partner, true loves. And then, so, okay, so the second story would be that the ex is noticing this new person that's a potential life partner that's either just come in or about to come in. And you might not even be aware of it because this could be someone, like, in the higher realms, like, they're, they're already in your energy field, but maybe you haven't met them yet. But the ex might be watching your social media and be, like, kind of aware of this energy, aware of you leveling up, and aware of this person coming into your life that you could end up marrying. And the ex is feeling nostalgic for you. Someone's feeling nostalgic here, but there's some kind of, like, manipulative kind of third-party energy here. That's why I'm thinking for some of you... For some of you, it's a new person, and, it, and the ex is, like, channeling you, and they're psychically connected to you, and they're like, wait a minute, like, I've matured, though, like, I'm, um, I'm open now, I'm emotional now, you know what I mean? And they're wanting to, like, pull you back in, so it's kind of, it's an interesting story here, but you do have people that are willing to fight for you, which is a really nice energy, I think it's, like, I mean, if this is the ex that's manipulative, and you should, you'll probably know if this is the ex. But if it is, and it's like, no, you probably don't want that. But but you have someone's a potential life partner. Whether it's new or old, you do have, like, true love this year. Like, you have your person this year, it seems like. Um, domination, control. It honestly feels like there's a lot going on in the higher realms that you're not even conscious of. Like, there's, like, these two people in your energy field that, like, you're not even aware of them does that make sense like you're not even 
Like there's so much going on that, that you're like channeling. You might be getting like ringing in your ears, that kind of stuff. And it's like, you're channeling so much and you're like not even like conscious of what's going on, but you have like, like astral traveling and having all this stuff going on in the, in the higher realms that you're not even like aware of. Yeah, someone's, I sense competitiveness over you. Like, I sense someone, like I said, someone's fighting for you. I just don't know if they're, like, fighting another person or they're fighting the obstacles between you guys. Like, some of you might have, like, negative forces keeping you apart, but someone's just, like, fighting for you. Someone's, like, in, do like, a dominant, assertive energy. They're like, no, I'm not, like, I'm going to have, I'm going to make this happen. And this, like I said, it could be a new person. It could be a new person that's, like, in your energy field that you haven't even met yet. But they're like fighting the, like if you have like a toxic ex, like they're fighting them in the higher realms for you. Like they're like almost like around you, like a spirit guide would be. And they're like trying to push the ex away and come in so that they can be your life partner. Um, it's like someone is just fighting for you. Someone is willing to fight for you. Someone is, is seeing your worth. Someone is open to this connection. Someone is like claiming you. Um, and this is a potential life partner that's doing that is what I'm getting here. Domination, control. Like, yeah, like they're in this like alpha kind of dominant assertive energy where they're like, no, this is mine. Like they're not letting you go. Um, like I said, for, for a lot of people, I think it's I think it's actually the new person. I think, you know, for some of you, it's the new person. For those of you that feel like your ex is your true love, like your ex wasn't toxic, but it's just like the circumstances separated you, but you know that they're a good person, then it could be the ex that's fighting for you. Like they're just fighting like negative forces or dark forces that might be around or like toxic friends, family members, third party energies. They're like fighting these energies to get to you. Like someone's like aware of this connection. Like they know that you're their true love. And like I said, that could be in the higher realms. Like, I just, I feel like I just get the sense that there's, like, so much going on in the higher realms that you're just not aware of. Like, so many, just, like, people, like, battling for you. Like, these, like, different energies that are, like, fighting, like, forces, like, good and evil, almost, that are, like, fighting on your behalf. And there's no, I mean, there's light and dark. There's no light without darkness. You know what I mean? But it's, it's almost like, it's just, like, this spiritual battle. It's, like, someone's really... Like, there's a lot of life changes that are coming in for you this year, and they're, like, taking place in the higher realm now, and then they're going to manifest in the physical, and you're not even, like, conscious of them. And they're not necessarily bad, but they're just huge life changes, and you might be kind of feeling that energy a little bit. But someone's, like, in this dominant energy where they're like, I'm going to, no, this is mine, and they want to offer you love and commitment, so... Um, so, yeah, like I said, if you want a private reading, just email me. My email is right below in the description box. And uh, please subscribe if it resonates and any donations are appreciated. My donation links are below. Thanks for watching.